Hey everyone out there, uh, welcome. And I'm just trying to get set up for everybody. So what we're gonna be doing tonight is uh, comping properties. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you how to do it the freeway and then the not so freeway where you with PropStream and I also use Privy as well. Without further ado, let's bring up, and the first property that I'm going to do was actually by Tiffany Nichols. They actually have a few properties in here. Uh, I'm gonna go to this one in uh, Montgomery. So I copied it, I'm gonna copy this address over here, okay? And we're going. We're coming up on this, this one on Montgomery. Now they did not tell me the, the Edition of this property they did show a picture that was much nicer than this so what i also do is i compare both zillow and redfin okay again this is the free version every way to do things and then we're going to go to street view and we're looking at 2708 because street view sometimes doesn't take you to the right house 2708 so it's actually this brick house here if we go so you see the redfin estimate here is for what they're doing um they just gave me the address address and uh, we're going from here. So this is 2,200 square feet. They did tell me it is a duplex and the duplex is there. It is three bedrooms and one bath on each floor. So that actually helps it with the value, say in Detroit with section eight tenants, uh, things like that. that it's going to, a three bedroom is going to go for a lot more than a two bedroom. So a three bedroom, you're probably looking at, you know, somewhere around 12, probably around 12 to 13 Thirteen hundred dollars in rent, um, just depending on the area. So we're gonna hold this up here, look at the area that it's in, and actually in, in Wildmere Park. So what I also like to do is I do a Google Maps Wildmere Park and. Detroit. So what I do is, is I go over here and I look at the boundaries. That is my comp area, Wildmere Park. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see where this is, where this lies inside those boundaries on Lawton and Montgomery. So we have Montgomery here. And I believe that this is Lawton and Montgomery. It's actually right over here. Be right about right here is our property. So from here, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and, and I'm going to go to sold in the past three months because of this market the way it is that's kind of where we have to be uh, let's see we go Wildmere Park and here's Montgomery and Lawton right where we're at so we got this one for 39.9 this is not a four bedroom so, so this one is a two bed two bath on each unit okay so this one here is a four bedroom two bath so this one's 122 take a look at this one this one's could be a potential comp but again it's ours is a you got to give a little bit of price increase because of ours being a three bedroom three bath now I'm only going by what they said, that it's a three bedroom, three bath. Um, I'd have to walk the property. All right, so let's go back to here and we're gonna go, this is for sale. We're gonna go sold, okay? And we're gonna do and apply it in the same manner, same area. Montgomery and Lawton, this, our subject property is here. And I go sold. Let's see here. We're gonna say more. I need a time frame. Time frame because there's there's a lot of sold properties here. Sold in the last 90 days. We're gonna. There we go. So because there's not a lot, let me go back to six months. It's not a lot of matching what what we want for bedrooms and bathrooms. So we have one here sold 65,000, okay? 2,400 square feet, ours is, what was ours? We're gonna duplicate this tab so that I have this. There we go. So ours is 2256. Okay. So on here, remember we're sticking here on the Wildmere, Wildmere Park, and I know I'm saying that wrong, and I apologize to anybody who's from Detroit. Okay. 
Uh, so let's go back over here, 66,000. You know, as an investor, I'm gonna be honest, if this is a turnkey property, I'll give you two things. If this is a turnkey property, uh, if they've already done the um, the renovations on this, okay? Because as I was looking back in the group, let's see here, and they list, they sent a picture of it, and the picture was not that, was, okay. Uh, yeah, no, the picture is the same. So, if this is a turnkey property, okay, if this is a turnkey property, then I would honestly, I probably say for an investor, you probably be right around 60 grand if this is turnkey, okay. So, if you were to sell this to a, a home end buyer you can probably get it you know looking around 70k okay um the reason why you can get a little bit higher uh from an investor on this is because of it being a three bedroom three bath or sorry three bedroom one bath on each level the roi on that's going to be uh you're looking at uh let well let's do the math here uh okay so seventy thousand or we're gonna do let's be modest and go twelve fifty a month we're gonna times that by times it by two okay so that's twenty four hundred or twenty five hundred per month we're gonna times that by twelve okay that's thirty thousand dollars a year okay and then we're going to subtract, subtract, uh, let's say 2,500 for insurance or for taxes, subtract, uh, about 2,500 for tax or for insurance, just in case you never know. Um, and then we're going to, for CapEx, let's do another 2,000. Uh, we're going to subtract 2000 Okay. Uh, so we're looking at... Uh, we're looking at 23000 per year. And we're going to divide that, okay, by, say, 70000 plus closing costs. You're probably looking at about 75000 after all is said and done, okay, you're looking at about a 30% return, 31% return. So, um, now for that being said, that's a huge return, but keep in mind you are in Detroit. Detroit needs a high return, okay? So, an investor, a good a institutional investor may come in and pay a little bit more um, on that, but seventy-five thousand. Keep in mind that's the end. That's if you are, if it's a turnkey rental. If you're not a turnkey rental, um, more than likely it's going to be a you're say sixty grand, and then you are going to have to do. Pro you're probably going to have to put about forty about 45 to, to 50 K worth of work in there, depending on how bad it is. If it's a shell, then you're probably looking at right around 70 K. So let's do the math real quick with that same 23,000. Okay. And then say they buy it for, um, we're going to go with 50,000 it needs and it needs another 50,000 to rehab. Okay. So that's a hundred thousand dollars right there. Okay. After closing costs, you're looking about 105. Okay. Divided by 105. Okay. That's still a 21.9% return. 
So I think 50,000, 50, 55, 60,000, uh, that is, you know, what I think that would go for, okay, in my opinion. Um, now keep in mind, you, you as a wholesaler have to get it under contract. I'd probably try to get this under contract right around 40 to leave room for negotiation, okay? Um, maybe you can probably push it to 45 uh, if the seller is really stuck on their number. Um, it just depends on how bad of a shape. If there's foundation issues, it needs to be dirt cheap because nobody wants to touch foundation issues with, uh, uh, they don't want to touch foundation issues on unless they have uh, a, um, unless they have a huge incentive, okay? Um, do, uh, do I stick with in the same, uh, same built year? Okay. Who's the, uh, ang uh, angel, uh, I, because of, so I don't really stick with the same built year because with Detroit properties, they're all older. <laughs> so, it, you know, but if I were to go in the suburbs, then I may, you know, as long as they are older, then that's fine. Okay. So that's kind of where, where I would go with that. So, um, if this is a turnkey, I'd say 60,000, uh, would be a great selling point. If this is not a turnkey and it needs a bunch of rehab, uh, you may even be able to sell this for 70 K. Um, but I, it's kind of hard to sell that for 70K with the comps the way they are, okay? Um, you can say that you're on the edge of the neighborhood and, and things like that, but to be honest, it's, you know, it's Detroit and it is block by block. So the fact that you're next to a rundown house as well does not help you at all, okay? Um, the fact that your brick is, it helps a lot, so um that is that property now let's go in here to crop stream and let's put that same property in the address okay and we're just going to go into uh comps i don't really want to give out who owns the property or anything like that now keep in mind i come in here and i'm going to look at something like i can't cross this here this is linwood Remember our boundaries. This is why I go on Google Maps. I look at the boundaries of the neighborhood. Okay, so on number one over here, it's sixty-five thousand. There's no pictures, unfortunately. Uh, but we, if we look over here, this is twenty-four hundred square feet. All right, and price per square foot is uh, twenty-seven. Uh, twenty-seven dollars a square foot. So. Again, this is just me doing quick and dirty. Um, you know, I think 65, I think I was right on the money or anywhere between 65 and 70. Uh, let's see here, it doesn't say how many bedrooms or uh, it says two and a half bath. Uh, again, I think that one's probably a, a two bed. The fact that this is a three bed and three bath, you, you, you can up the price just a little bit more. So, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Uh, and if I were to go in here in privy and put that same one in here, let's see. Comparables. Okay. So again, that one here is 65 and we're looking at 35, 9K, 5K, 24K. Now this is, okay, so the red is sold on the market and this is pending, okay? Let's see what this pending is. All right. So this one's probably a smaller house. 85K. This is similar to what we have. Yeah. Okay, but it's out of our, it's in a different neighborhood. Remember, our, our boundaries were Eclade Street, all right? 
All right, so I'm gonna stick to my number. I'm gonna stick to, uh, honestly, uh, yeah, I think this just uh, solidified it, you know? Uh, we got it through the free version and uh, 